In abstract algebra, an abelian group, also called a commutative group, is a group in which the result of applying the group operation to two group elements does not depend on the order in which they are written. Abelian groups generalize the arithmetic of addition of integers. They are named after Niels Henrik Abel. The concept of an abelian group is one of the first concepts encountered in undergraduate abstract algebra, from which many other basic concepts, such as modules and vector spaces, are developed. The theory of abelian groups is generally simpler than that of their non-abelian counterparts, and finite abelian groups are very well understood. On the other hand, the theory of infinite abelian groups is an area of current research. Definition An abelian group is a set A together with an operation that combines any two elements A and B to form another element denoted AB. The symbol is a general placeholder for a concretely given operation. To qualify as an abelian group, the set an operation must satisfy five requirements known as the abelian group axioms. Closure for all A, B in A, the result of the operation AB is also in A. Associativity for all A, B and C in A, the equation C equals A holds. Identity element There exists an element E in A, such that for all elements are in A, the equation E A equals A E equals A holds. Inverse element for each are in A, there exists an element B in A such that A B equals B A equals E, where E is the identity element. Commutativity for all A, B in A, A B equals B A. More compactly, an abelian group is a commutative group. A group in which the group operation is not commutative is called a non-abelian group or non-commutative group. Fact. Notation There are two main notational conventions for abelian groups, additive and multiplicative. Generally, the multiplicative notation is the usual notation for groups, while the additive notation is the usual notation for modules and rings. The additive notation may also be used to emphasize that a particular group is abelian, whenever both abelian and non-abelian groups are considered. Some notable exceptions being near rings and partially ordered groups, where an operation is written additively even when non-abelian. Multiplication table to verify that a finite group is abelian. A table, known as a Cayley table, can be constructed in a similar fashion to a multiplication table. If the group is G equals G1 equals E, G2, Gn, under the operation, the th entry of this table contains the product key gj. The group is abelian if and only if this table is symmetric about the main diagonal. This is true since if the group is abelian, then g g j equals g j g. This implies that the th entry of the table equals the th entry, thus the table is symmetric about the main diagonal. Examples for the integers and the operation addition, plus, denoted, the operation plus combines any two integers to form a third integer. Addition is associative, zero is the additive identity, every integer n has an additive inverse, minus n, and the addition operation is commutative since m plus n equals n plus m for any two integers m and n. Every cyclic group g is abelian, because if x, y are in g, then x, y equals r m n equals m plus n equals n plus m equals n m equals y x. Thus the integers, z, form an abelian group under addition, as do the integers modulo n, z, n, z. Every ring is an abelian group with respect to its addition operation. In a commutative ring the invertible elements, or units, form an abelian multiplicative group. In particular, the real numbers are an abelian group under addition, and the non-zero real numbers are an abelian group under multiplication. Every subgroup of an abelian group is normal, so each subgroup gives rise to a quotient group. Subgroups, quotients, and direct sums of abelian groups are again abelian. The concepts of abelian group and z-module agree. More specifically, every z-module is an abelian group with its operation of addition, and every abelian group is a module over the ring of integers z in a unique way. In general, matrices, even invertible matrices, 
do not form an abelian group under multiplication because matrix multiplication is generally not commutative. However, some groups of matrices are abelian groups under matrix multiplication. One example is the group of 2 times 2 rotation matrices. Historical remarks. Abelian groups were named after Norwegian mathematician Niels Henrik Abel by Camille Jordan because Abel found that the commutativity of the group of a polynomial implies that the roots of the polynomial can be calculated by using radicals. See section 6.5 of Cox for more information on the historical background. Properties. If n is a natural number and x is an element of an abelian group G written additively, then nx can be defined as x plus x plus plus x and x equals minus. In this way, G becomes a module over the ring Z of integers. In fact, the modules over Z can be identified with the abelian groups. Theorems about abelian groups can often be generalized to theorems about modules over an arbitrary principal ideal domain. A typical example is the classification of finitely generated abelian groups which is a specialization of the structural theorem for finitely generated modules over a principal ideal domain. In the case of finitely generated abelian groups, this theorem guarantees that an abelian group splits as a direct sum of a torsion group and a free abelian group. The former may be written as a direct sum of finitely many groups of the form Z, PKZ for P prime, and the latter is a direct sum of finitely many copies of Z. If F, G, GH are two group homomorphisms between abelian groups, then their sum F plus G, defined by equals F plus G, is again a homomorphism. The set hom of all group homomorphisms from G to H thus turns into an abelian group in its own right. Somewhat akin to the dimension of vector spaces, every abelian group has a rank. It is defined as the cardinality of the largest set of linearly independent elements of the group. The integers and the rational numbers have rank 1, as well as every subgroup of the rationals. The center Z of a group G is the set of elements that commute with every element of G. A group G is abelian if and only if it is equal to its center Z. The center of a group G is always a characteristic abelian subgroup of G. If the quotient group G, Z of a group by its center is cyclic then G is abelian. Finite abelian groups Cyclic groups of integers modulo n, z, n, z, were among the first examples of groups. It turns out that an arbitrary finite abelian group is isomorphic to a direct sum of finite cyclic groups of prime power order, and these orders are uniquely determined, forming a complete system of invariants. The automorphism group of a finite abelian group can be described directly in terms of these invariants. The theory had been first developed in the 1879 paper of Georg Frobenius and Ludwig Stickelberger and later was both simplified and generalized to finitely generated modules over a principal ideal domain, forming an important chapter of linear algebra. Any group of prime order is isomorphic to a cyclic group and therefore abelian. Any group whose order is a square of a prime number is abelian. Classification The fundamental theorem of finite abelian groups states that every finite abelian group G can be expressed as the direct sum of cyclic subgroups of prime power order. This is a special case of the fundamental theorem of finitely generated abelian groups when G has zero rank. The cyclic group Zmn of order Minnesota is isomorphic to the direct sum of Zm and zinc if and only if M and N are co-prime. It follows that any finite abelian group G is isomorphic to a direct sum of the form in either of the following canonical ways. The numbers K1, Q are powers of primes. K1 divides K2, which divides K3, and so on up to Q. 
For example, Z15 can be expressed as the direct sum of two cyclic subgroups of order 3 and 5. Z15, 0, 5, 10, 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. The same can be said for any abelian group of order 15, leading to the remarkable conclusion that all abelian groups of order 15 are isomorphic. For another example, every abelian group of order 8 is isomorphic to either Z8, Z4, Z2, or Z2, Z2, Z2. See also list of small groups for finite abelian groups of order 16 or less. Automorphisms One can apply the fundamental theorem to count the automorphisms of a given finite abelian group G. To do this, one uses the fact that if G splits as a direct sum HK of subgroups of co-prime order, then AUT AUT AUT. Given this, the fundamental theorem shows that to compute the automorphism group of G it suffices to compute the automorphism groups of the solo P subgroups, separately. Fix a prime P and suppose the exponents A of the cyclic factors of the solo P subgroup are arranged in increasing order, for some n greater than zero. In this case the theory of automorphisms of a finite cyclic group can be used. Another special case is when n is arbitrary but a equals 1 for 1 i n. Here, 1 is considering p to be of the form so elements of this subgroup can be viewed as comprising a vector space of dimension n over the finite field of p elements sir. Uh, it is known, however, that if one defines and then one has in particular decay k, c k k, and one can check that this yields the orders in the previous examples as special cases. Infinite abelian groups. The simplest infinite abelian group is the infinite cyclic group Z. Any finitely generated abelian group A is isomorphic to the direct sum of our copies of Z in a finite abelian group, which in turn is decomposable into a direct sum of finitely many cyclic groups of primary orders. Even though the decomposition is not unique, the number are called the rank of A, and the prime powers giving the orders of finite cyclic summons are uniquely determined. By contrast, classification of general infinitely generated abelian groups is far from complete. Divisible groups, i.e., abelian groups A in which the equation nx equals or admits a solution xA for any natural number n an element of A, constitute one important class of infinite abelian groups that can be completely characterized. Every divisible group is isomorphic to a direct sum, with some man's isomorphic to Q in proof of groups QP, ZP for various prime numbers P, and the cardinality of the set of summons of each type is uniquely determined. Moreover, if a divisible group A is a subgroup of an abelian group G then A admits a direct complement, a subgroup C of G such that G equals AC. Thus divisible groups are injective modules in the category of abelian groups, and conversely, every injective abelian group is divisible. An abelian group without non-zero divisible subgroups is called reduced. Two important special classes of infinite abelian groups with diametrically opposite properties are torsion groups and torsion-free groups, exemplified by the groups Q, Z and Q. Torsion groups An abelian group is called periodic or torsion if every element has finite order. A direct sum of finite cyclic groups is periodic. Although the converse statement is not true in general, some special cases are known. The first and second proof of theorems state that if A is a periodic group and either it has bounded exponent, i.e., na equals zero for some natural number n, or if A is countable and the p heights of the elements of A are finite for each p, then A is isomorphic to a direct sum of finite cyclic groups. The cardinality of the set of direct summons isomorphic to Z, PMZ in such a decomposition is an invariant of A. These theorems were later subsumed in the Kulikov criterion. In a different direction, Helmut Olm found an extension of the second proof of theorem to countable abelian P groups with elements of infinite height. Those groups are completely classified by means of their Olm invariants. 
torsion-free in mixed groups an abelian group is called torsion-free if every non-zero element has infinite order. Several classes of torsion-free abelian groups have been studied extensively. Free abelian groups, i.e., arbitrary direct sums of Z, cotorsion and algebraically compact torsion-free groups such as the p-adic integers, slender groups. An abelian group that is neither periodic nor torsion-free is called mixed. If A is an abelian group and T is its torsion subgroup then the factor group A, T is torsion-free. However, in general the torsion subgroup is not a direct sum and of A, so A is not isomorphic to T A, T. Thus the theory of mixed groups involves more than simply combining the results about periodic and torsion-free groups. Invariance and classification One of the most basic invariants of an infinite abelian group A is its rank, the cardinality of the maximal linearly independent subset of A. Abelian groups of rank 0 are precisely the periodic groups, while torsion-free abelian groups of rank 1 are necessarily subgroups of Q and can be completely described. More generally, a torsion-free abelian group of finite rank R is a subgroup of QR. On the other hand, the group of p-adic integers Zp is a torsion-free abelian group of infinite Z rank and the groups Zpn with different n are non-isomorphic. So this invariant does not even fully capture properties of some familiar groups. The classification theorems for finitely generated, divisible, countable periodic, and rank 1 torsion-free abelian groups explained above were all obtained before 1950 and form a foundation of the classification of more general, infinite abelian groups. Important technical tools used in classification of infinite abelian groups are pure and basic subgroups. Introduction of various invariants of torsion-free abelian groups has been one avenue of further progress. See the books by Irving Kaplinsky, Laszlo Fuchs, Philip Griffith, and David Arnold, as well as the proceedings of the conferences on abelian group theory published in lecture notes in mathematics for more recent results. Additive groups of rings The additive group of a ring is an abelian group, but not all abelian groups are additive groups of rings. Some important topics in this area of study are tensor product, Corner's results on countable torsion-free groups, Scheller's work to remove cardinality restrictions, relation to other mathematical topics. Many large abelian groups possess a natural topology, which turns them into topological groups. The collection of all abelian groups, together with the homomorphisms between them, forms the category AB, the prototype of an abelian category. Nearly all well-known algebraic structures other than Boolean algebras are undecidable. Hence it is surprising that Tarshi's students as Milu proved that the first-order theory of abelian groups, unlike its non-abelian counterpart, is decidable. This decidability, plus the fundamental theorem of finite abelian groups described above, highlights some of the successes in abelian group theory. But there are still many areas of current research. Amongst torsion-free abelian groups of finite rank, only the finitely generated case and the rank 1 case are well understood. There are many unsolved problems in the theory of infinite rank torsion-free abelian groups. While countable torsion abelian groups are well understood through simple presentations and Ulm invariants, the case of countable mixed groups is much less mature. Many mild extensions of the first-order theory of abelian groups are known to be undecidable. Finite abelian groups remain a topic of research in computational group theory. Moreover, abelian groups of infinite order lead, quite surprisingly, to deep questions about the set theory commonly assumed to underlie all of mathematics. Take the whitehead problem. Are all whitehead groups of infinite order also free abelian groups? In the 1970s, Sahar and Scheller proved that the whitehead problem is undecidable in ZFC, the conventional axiomatic set theory from which nearly all of present-day mathematics can be derived.
The whitehead problem is also the first question in ordinary mathematics proved undecidable in ZFC. Undecidable even if ZFC is augmented by taking the generalized continuum hypothesis as an axiom. Positively answered if ZFC is augmented with the axiom of constructability. A note on the typography. Among mathematical adjectives derived from the proper name of a mathematician, the word abelian is rare in that it is often spelled with a lowercase a rather than an uppercase a, indicating how ubiquitous the concept is in modern mathematics.